then second ranked Eric Barnett from Wisconsin. And Ramos, a nice step over there. He will get the takedown here. Two minutes into the first period. Suicide roll tilt. He's getting a count. There's a three and a three count for Ramos. So that is three back points. Ramos now leads six nothing here after one. A list with national champion Charles Jones, two time national runner up Chris, Chris Flieger, and then Ramos. 17 1 your final. A tech fall in favor of Purdue's Matt Ramos. Not allowing Norris the, even the opportunity to sink legs in. Try and maintain top control. He is out in 20 seconds. So an escape for Madrigal. Bench. Referees will let them wrestle through. Now we've got a uh, two point reversal for Madrigal. So 3 3 on the scoreboard as it stands. And now the officials will stop. Looking for the switch there, sit out, and now he gets the escape for one. And he goes for a shot attempt just as the stall warning is given. Now the Purdue bench is complaining about a fast takedown. They have not thrown a brick yet. Stalemate is given, Magical on top, 7-1. One of the handful of Boilermakers who took part in the Midlands Championships. The Boilermakers did not send the whole team, Illinois, did, and uh, for their efforts, they got five men on the podium, including Pacino, who finished fourth. Looking for the switch, trying to break free, as he did to start this second period. And Pacino will get pulled out of bounds just as the buzzer sounds. So second official was talking something over with the, the official scorers. Here's the quick restart, beautiful ankle pick by Puccino, and he turns that into points immediately. Now leads 6-1. Looking for a little catch and release, maybe. We got 6-2 now. Puccino found something that he likes. These two quick takedowns, he thinks maybe he can run some points up. They do. No, uh, nobody can surpass James Rowley, four-time Oregon State champion in high school. Is he chases Connell all the way to the edge there before giving up the escape. Really nice job there by Dylan Connell. Rowley had the upper hand there. James Rowley up to his feet. Connell looking for the big mat return. Instead, Rowley with the switch for a two-point reversal as they go out of bounds maintains control that whole time and finally gives the escape out of bounds. So riding time is virtually non-existent. One second. Fighting a line eye sophomore, his second Big Ten dual victory of the year. Improves to five and eight this season. And quick restart and lightning quick to his feet is Edmund Ruth. And there he gets it, gets the body lock, trying to drive. And there's the takedown given for Ruth as they roll out of bounds. So four nothing in favor of the Illini wrestler, Edmund Ruth. Ruth just driving forward once again, going for that body lock. Bowman is trying a side toss, a hip toss of his own, and he slips it out of bounds. Another takedown for Ruth over on the edge. And there it is. He's got his riding time up over a minute. Gets the, gives the escape to Bowman and is on him immediately. Brody Bowman over on the edge, dives back to Ruth's ankle. Great body control by Edmund Ruth. 10-1, now 10-2 after the Bowman escape. Buell comes in 13-9 on the season. 4-3 in Big Ten dual action, and he's got an early takedown here. On Moore, Moore 7 and 10, 0 and 6 in Big Ten action. And he's got a 
quick count there. Three swipes for Buell for three quick back points. Buell with a couple ranked wins recently. A nice return and a good job fighting through that for Moore as he gets the escape. That could have been a lot more for Moore, but Buell able to keep Stoney Buell down for all of five seconds there before Buell gets the escape. 7 1 now for the Boilermaker. And no takedown awarded just yet. There it is. Polanco gets control. Over on the edge, and now he's got a count going. Hanging out on the waist, not improving his position. He sits back into Polanco, and now up to his feet. 3-1. Polanco being implored by the head official to improve his position. He does just that with a mat return out of bounds. Now Polanco builds his base up, but uh, he will run out of time here in the first. A action-packed first period between these two men. Up to his feet. Now Harrier sucks him back. Polanco goes with him, turns into Jake Harrier, and gets his escape. 7-7. Seven, seven. If he can break that right arm post, from Swall, he might be on something with the power half. Instead, Swall goes out the back door, got Rubel up way too high. 43 seconds of ride time. Mike Rubel sits back into Logan Swall. And Swall, <laughs> he showed his hands like he was trying to let Rubel escape. And now here we are, right back in this pretzel position. Both men rolling through with control. Ike Rubel steps over. He's got hips in and gets the first takedown of the match. Ike Rubel, a minute nine to go here during this campaign. And the Boilermakers go back on top of the team score, 11-9. Ben Venadia for Purdue. Vanadia 10 and 15 on the year, 6 and 8 in dual action. He's got two Big Ten wins, but a big takedown there for Pettigrew. From the jump, and we've got a stoppage. Now Vanadia in on a single and converts it. 4 3 Vanadia leads. Vanadia quickly to his feet. Pettigrew looking for the return. And Ben Venidia slips out of it, so an escape there for the Boilermaker. Now leads 5-3. Pettigrew, a very strong, uh, very uh, lanky 197-pounder. And Venidia, nice reshot there, gets the takedown for the Boilermakers. 8-3 now in favor of the... And the Boilermakers give three team points, go back on top. Filipovic slips out. He limp on his way out of that Marinopolis shot and gets the takedown over on the edge. And Marinopolis able to get free. Rescheduled due to medical, internal medical concerns for the Northwestern side. So the Wildcats get a double header Sunday with Indiana and Illinois. Filipovic. Gets to his feet, now quad potting up and gets his escape, 4-2. And all he's got to do is not get taken down. Peter Marinopoulos hit with a stall warning, but it matters little as he secures the dual victory for his fighting Illini.